Hi all, I was in a conversation this morning. It was really kind of interesting because it brought back some of the things I thought about a long time ago that are still relevant today, which is what should dentists wear and what should they look like and what is the patient's perception of all of that stuff? Now, one can make the argument quickly that in the COVID-19 era, we should always be wearing our PPE and the mask and all of that kind of stuff. And the short answer to that is yes, of course we should be wearing our mask but if we're not seeing a patient to actually do some dentistry on them, or coming to see the patient for a consultation, what should we wear? Should we wear our PPE and our scrubs? Should we wear something more casual like a golf shirt? Should we wear something a little bit more authoritarian like a white coat? And that thought process of what we're supposed to look like during a consultation has a lot of ramifications. So let's kind of talk about some of the pros and cons. So back in the 80s and 90s, the philosophy back then was to make the dentist a friend of the patient. So everybody was switching to golf shorts and looking very casual and trying not to be intimidating. And then there was a little bit of a push kind of starting in the 2000s and the 2010s and that if you're the doctor, the patients are coming to you because they want help and they want a solution to a problem and you should be the authoritarian type figure. And all of a sudden lab coats, white lab coats were all the rage. And then there were some questions whether or not we should wear a long lab white coat, we should wear a white, a short white lab coat, should there be a different color, should be there a different color for the dentist versus the hygienist versus the assistant. And these are all kind of good questions. And I don't know if there's necessary answer to this, but what I want you to do is spend a few minutes thinking about the DNA of your practice and the DNA of your patient population, and you can decide what's best for you. Now I tend, maybe because I'm a little bit older, to go more old school and I like a white lab coat and I like my name embroidered on the lab coat and I like the logo of my dental practice embroidered on the lab coat. And there's many companies out there that can do that for you. But if you decide to go a little bit more casual and you're gonna do a consultation for a patient, you wanna look more like their friend, look like their friend, but be professional. Don't wear something that's too low cut. Don't wear something that looks kind of like tattered or you know where you get the little pills on the fabric or something like that. Look professional, look clean and neat. And this is kind of a follow-up to one of the videos I posted about making sure that your shoes are clean or at least, you know, polished up. So when you interact with patients, remember, they're not supposed to judge a book by the cover, but really what else does a patient have to judge you by? They're gonna look at you and they're gonna decide whether or not you're professional and they trust you to enter their mouth. And whatever the DNA of your practice is, whatever the DNA of your patient population is, be very, very sensitive to that because you wanna give a image of professionalism and that's how patients are gonna judge you. So whether it's a white lab coat, whether it's something a little bit more casual, or you're gonna stay wrapped up in your PPE all day long for consultations, whatever you decide, just make sure that you're giving the aura of professionalism because unfortunately for us as dentists, that's how we're being judged. And if that's how we're being judged and those are the rules, then let's go ahead and win by following those rules.